Hello and welcome to our introduction video um, on our YouTube channel. We're going to try and be a bit more active with our YouTube channel. We've mentioned this a few times on a couple of previous videos, trying to be a bit more active on YouTube. Not easy because we're, we're a very busy small company, um, so our efforts are much better spent on doing actual work for customers um, and on our own cars. But we have a lot of interesting stuff come through so we thought we need to try and bring that to our YouTube channel. We have lots of people say, you know, why, why don't you guys do more YouTube stuff? Um, and they're right, we really ought to, but it does take up a lot of time. And also it's trying to work out what people want from a YouTube video. Um, most people don't want to listen to me rabbit on about cars all day. It gets a bit boring. Uh, but we do have some cool stuff come through. So we're going to try and bring you a bit of that onto our YouTube channel. Maybe do a couple of sort of mini series. And um, we're going to bring you uh, this car as a, as a little mini series first. And I'll run you through that shortly. Um, and we've got lots of other interesting stuff. We've got a version 6 Limited that we're doing a full build on there for a customer. Uh, we've got a P1 coming in to be done. We've got a red Tommy Mackinnon that we're about to strip down for a full rebuild. We've got an R34 GTR next door that we're doing a full underside restoration on. Uh, we do dry ice blasting, we do vapor blasting, we do zinc plating. Um, so we've got lots of cool stuff that we can bring to the channel. It's just the time to be able to, to do it and edit it. And we haven't got time to spend hours editing videos, making them really cool. Um, it's just not possible for us. So we'll try and bring you some little um, mini series and see, see how we get on. Um, so we're going to follow this one through and um, I'll show you around this. We've got some really special parts for this car. Uh, this is a R34 GTR V-Spec 2, 11,000 miles. Really, really nice original car. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, and you'll see that when I show you around it. It's, it's just really, really nice. And there's a nice story to go with this. So this will be a separate episode, this car. I'll give you a quick show round of it um, when I'm finished talking. But yeah, we'll, we'll probably do three or four little videos on this um, and see how we get on with that. And we've got some other stuff that we'll, we'll bring fairly quickly to the channel um, and see what you guys think. You'll also get to meet the guys in the workshop as well. So we've got Paul, Steve and Gav. Um, they're, they're all really enthusiastic about the type of work we do. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it and this brings a bit of a change to our YouTube channel and let's see where it takes us. So um, without further ado I'll show you around the R34. So here we go, here's the R34 GTR V-Spec 2 with 11,000 miles. As you can see it is a really really nice example and we'll run through the full story of this car on the first episode of our little series. Well, I just thought I'd give you a quick show around before we do anything to it. Um, we recently sold this car after giving it a big recommission that had been tucked away for a little while. Uh, so we gave it a big recommission, big detailing, um, top to bottom. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. You can understand why these have got such a big following. They're just so iconic. I know a lot of people talk about the prices. In my opinion, they're worth every penny. Um, in this sort of collector grade condition, they are expensive now. But find me a more iconic car of this era for this generation. So yeah, this is literally just a little sneak peek. It's just been brought up into the workshop. I'll show you the engine bay. You can see in here, just all original. This is the sort of stuff that comes through our showroom. Just real nice collector grade cars. We pride ourselves on having, dare I say it, the best of the best. Um, this cover's just off where we have the trickle charger attached. But yeah, this is going to go through quite some dramatic changes. 
Um, changes which I love, I love the idea of, of it and if it was my personal car I'd want to be doing something very similar. Um, so I won't say too much but it's going to be a lot of work we put into this. We've got some real real special Nismo stuff going on this car. Um, customer is really excited for us to do it, we're excited to do it. So um, yeah that's going to come in episode one of the mini series for the GTR. So keep an eye out for that, give us a little follow and subscribe and hopefully you'll enjoy what we bring you on this car, it's going to be very very special. So that's the GTR. Whilst well, talking about GTRs and undersides and what we get up to, here's one that we are currently piecing back together. This has had or is having a full underside refresh. Um, not concourse because the guy is going to use it and he's going to use it properly which is nice this is a big spec car nice amount of power I can't remember exactly how much power he said now but it, I think it was around sort of 700 ish um, so yeah we're just slowly piecing it back together now um, still a lot to do you can see so these don't have too much protection we take it back to metal we then replicate the textured finish and the factory textured finish and what we've done with this one is we've put quite a lot more of that textured finish on the underside um, because like I say it is going to be used and used properly so there's lots of places where they don't really have a lot um, certainly in the bottom of the front um, arches which it seems a bit bizarre to me that's, that's where you'd want a good amount of protection here so yeah we've sort of gone through and this is going back together so we'll bring you more on this as well I'm sure but there's a little glimpse of one that we're currently putting back together here's a very quick glimpse at a Subaru that's currently going back together version 6 limited but we'll bring you more on that and we've also got a 22B that is very nearly finished we'll bring you more on that as well so let's try and get some of our stuff onto YouTube, see what you guys think and hopefully you enjoy what we do. Okay, so a quick show around the showroom. I'll try and keep this brief otherwise it could turn into a really long video. Um, we've got here, you might recognise this from the Late Break Show. This is a Group N Escort Cosworth, 700 miles from Newt. Now in our showroom. Very, very cool car this, really good feature on the Late Break Show on YouTube. Um, give that a watch if you want to know more about this car. Um, but yeah, very, very cool, very retro, very period, and it's a really nice, honest car this. Um, moving along, we've got a S206 Nürburgring. These, I think, are going to be really good in the future. Um, you know, anyone looking for a slightly more modern, usable investment, car these they made 300 um, s206 100 of which were the nürburgring edition so very rare car this one's done 12,000 miles really nice and um, we've actually got two of them here we have been looking for a nice low mileage pearl white one for a while we ended up finding two uh, one in the uk one in japan uh, folks rs heritage this one is delivery miles pretty much 13 miles from new one owner, still got all the original stickers, labels, protection films, seat covers. Um, it's even got, we a bit tight this side, but it's even still got the foam pad on the driver's door. Um, really, really nice. Only 50 of these I've made. Um, again, another really good one for the future, particularly in that type of condition. We've got some really cool bikes down the back here. Let's just very quickly show you. Uh, so this is a 400 mile foggy, that's one of the 30 uh, John McGuinness TT Fireblades. Uh, we got a Ducati Final Edition there, two miles from Nuno, been ridden. Um, Agostini MV Augusta, MV Augusta Brutale, uh, some old GSX-Rs, I've got a bit of a thing for the old GSX-Rs. Unregistered UK RC30 there, um, that is pure collector grade bike couple of early small Ducatis um, and then we've got a few in the back here which we've just got to get prepped and get it for sale and this lovely lovely 1098R 
This is really, really clean. Um, we've actually only just recently taken this in and sold it already. Let's see if we can show you just how clean this is. It's really, really nice. But yeah, it's not going to market because we've sold it already. But that's lovely. Um, 2.3 stroker um, from an Evo 9. That's a billet crank, Owens turbo, uh, full shebang. Excuse the mess in the background, we are a working company, don't forget. So that is for this in here. Let's take you through. That's for this Evo 5 here. And we will, at some point, this is one of our personal cars, so we will bring a little sort of mini-series on the Evo 5 build as well. That should be really cool. Um, we've got something at the back there, which I'm not going to show too much of just yet. That will come later but that's very, very special. Uh, V-Spec 2 NER up on the top, uh, 22B on the top, Colin McRae's 22B here. That's Colin McRae's actual car. Um, went through auction recently and here it is now. Um, a little undecided on what we'll be doing with this but we will be doing something with it and we will bring it to the channel as well. So that's Colin McRae's 22B. We've got a 12,000 mile RS2000 Mark 5, lovely car. A 5,000 mile Mark 1 MR2. Uh, another 22B that is nearing the end of its restoration with us. Not quite there yet, but not a million miles away. Let me show you underneath this. Just bear with me. So that's the underside. Yet to have all the factory markings on. Um, we had a 270 mile 22B at one point and what we did was we documented all of the factory stamps, QC markings, we measured all the stamp markings, we matched the fonts, we had all the stamps reproduced so now we can do um, as per factory restorations in terms of all the factory stamping on everything. Uh, BRZ, which is actually a really nice spec car and has done only 3,000 miles from new, one owner car. Um, Audi RS3, again really nice this. It's done 40,000 miles, a couple of nice little upgrades and then this is really nice as well. So this is a 997 facelift, so 997.2 Carrera 4S, really nice factory spec. So it's a super clean car, this. That is really, really nice. I'll show you in there a little bit. And then we'll just show you next door, but that gives you a bit of an idea. Oh, I've missed the Manta 400, which is again, really, really special. Early two slot grille car, so it's got the black opal blitz interior rather than the later gray. Um, that is a really, really good history right back to new, genuine car, um, low miles, very, very special. Um, we've got someone wanting to come in and view that. So that's a little show around and now I'll take you into the next one. Just bear with me. Something a little bit different, um, MG ZS 180. I actually really like the look of these. I think they're a cool looking car. I love the wing. When these came out, I always loved this. Um, that's done 18,000 miles, one lady owner from new, all original, and full history. So that will be, this is a zero prep, this is how we collected the car. That's not been used for a number of months. We've got a genuine sunny GTIR, and that's in for dry ice blasting, so we'll probably do a little episode on that. Absolutely love them. I do love the 90s J, you know, Jap performance cars, the Pulsars, the Evos, the Subarus. Um, so yeah, we'll bring you a little episode on that. That'd be cool. A couple more bikes. Then in here we've got Stuart from Vehicle Detailing Services, who does our machine polishing and ceramic coatings, and he is doing a Focus RS Red edition. This is sold, customer has requested that the car have ceramic, 
and uh, calipers painted red as well, which will be a really nice touch. Um, FD2, this is a really nice low mileage FD2 this. Um, we are sort of midway through prepping that, we've serviced it, we've done a few other little bits and bobs and we've got a we've got the standard grill to go back on at the minute it's got quite a nice carbon grill but that's coming off uh, then so it'll be detailing that another s206 this one's done 10,000 miles again uh, recently brought over from japan and we've done full service cam belt uh, water pump auxiliary belts all the fluids filters uh, paintwork's all been machine polished just a couple of little bits left to do and that's going um, and various bits and bobs tucked away be them hours or cars that are here for customers generally speaking what's in here is cars that we've sold and then the customers asked us to store them so as a little show round a little introduction um, and the next episode will be episode one of the GTR So there you go, a um, little show around our showroom, um, gives you a bit of an idea of what we do um, and a little introduction to a couple of the projects. And like I say, we've got lots more uh, lined up. We've got a really nice, really cool Supra build that we're going to be doing, which we're all looking forward to doing. Um, that's for a customer. Uh, we've got our own Evo 5 build that we're doing. That'll be nice, but that, that's going to come behind customer builds, obviously. Um, we'll get onto that as and when we can. So we, hopefully we've got lots of nice cool things to bring to the channel and we hope you enjoy it. Cheers.